In this tutorial, I'm going to deconstruct the sound of this wobble leader made, which sounds a little bit like a spaceship. First of all, there are two oscillators in play. Oscillator 3 looks like it's turned on, but in fact the amplitude is set to zero, so oscillator 3 isn't doing anything. Oscillators 1 and 2 are square waves, and they're also detuned. You can see oscillator 2 is detuned 0.37 of a semitone away from oscillator 1. The detuning there thickening the sound as always. I applied two effects, a dimension expander and a reverb, again standard stuff. giving it dimension, putting it in a real space and filling out the mix. And then here's where it starts to get interesting. I'm doing two forms of sequenced modulation. Modulation source 8 is a performer, which you can see here. This is modulating pitch over 12 semitones, which is one octave. And then modulation source 7, again a performer, this time is modulating amplitude. You can see it's assigned to amplitude for the oscillators. Now what I did for this amplitude modulation source is assign macro 3, the yellow 3 in the bottom right corner, effectively to the amount for this modulation. And therefore I can use this macro 3 to determine how much of this amplitude modulation I want to occur. Pretty cool, right? And finally, I did something interesting with modulation source 8, this performer here, which is modulating pitch. Because each of the curves are the same curve, it kind of sounds like an LFO. But because I sequenced out these curves, creating a sequenced modulation, I can change the relative heights, creating rhythm and groove, almost like a musical melody or a riff. And naturally I can change this rhythm, change this groove by just adjusting the heights for the different sections. <laughs> 